Jonathan Livingston Seagull. Richard Back says, I quote, we can lift ourselves out of ignorance. We can find ourselves as creatures of excellence and intelligence and skill. We can be free. We can learn to fly. It is that spirit that Baba Azmi presents in a fashion that is here poetic, their prose, but always in perfect tandem. Me, Raksal, I am dancing, dedicated to Khafi Azmi, great cinematographer Baba Azmi, decides to direct a very simple linear story and makes arguably one of the best films I have seen in a while now. Even as the film starts off and you see the old Azamgarh the Muslim Leo. Don't miss out on the lovely Karnatak Natuvangam in the background. It is the story of the human spirit. It tells us that art is larger than life and surely much larger than man-made pigeonholes contemporary or of the past. It talks less, tells more, conveys rather than preaches. As I told you, the storyline is linear and simple. The central character, the protagonist, Mariam, loses her mother very early in the film. She's a little girl, all of 14 maybe, and takes this natural passion to Bharatanatyam. The society around disapproves of a Muslim girl learning Bharatanatyam. And the Kala John and the family literally asks her, you want to make a dancers out of your daughter? Her father, a local poor tailor, Salim, played brilliantly by Danish Hussein. I will come back to him later. Encourages this passion on the daughter and sees no contradiction in his daughter wanting to learn Bharatanatyam and becoming a dancer. Society, however, fans her. Led by a powerful leader, Hashim Seth, Nasiruddin Shah. More on him later. The entire society skins up against this flight filled dream of this girl. There are sheds that remind you nostalgic of Jaya Bhaduri's spirit in Upar or the spirit that Nagesh Kupnur pulls out in Iqbal of that, of that spirit that knows what it wants to do and can and come out and do it. That's what me Raksam is about. It's a seamless saga of the human spirit. Simple yet defiant. Hesitant yet determined. Society does not approve of this little girl Mariam moving from her social milieu into the world of Bharatanatyam and its culture. Powerful men who control the art form are not willing to accept her because she's not a part of we. What really enriches this experience is how deftly Baba Azmi deals with polarization. The we versus they, the mulk perhaps was but doesn't get harsh 
And this is no, no criticism on the MULC uh, module, brilliant in its own place. Over here, it's more from the heart. It's more poignant. It's more understated. And finally, it is more a celebration of how we can overcome and how the human spirit is larger than the limitations of polarization. I have a very special reason to be thinking on these lines today. As I return to this seat, I have a lovely friend who may politically completely disagree with me on issues, but shares a moment that I will savor on my way to my grave sends me a lovely book and some brilliant music to listen to and say, Ravi, this is the way to return to good health. This is the spirit that makes us what we are. But there are those who seem to believe that we can divide. And I'm not talking of people on either side of the fence. I'm not taking sides. I am saying that there are people who divide. But art is that brilliant unifier. I must talk about some performances in the film. Every artist in the film states just that much that Baba would have wanted of them. Three names must definitely require mention. If there is all this enthusiasm, etc., in Kausbub, Shukla as the auto driver young boy in that cameo in a manner only he can act in Indian cinema. Nasiruddin Shah says he is a master. He is brilliant. Thank you, Nasir, for giving us those moments that tell us what acting is and tells us how different it is from Hamik. We Believe that you are the pride of this nation as an actor. Yet again, Nasiruddin Shah. Brilliant. Thank you. Central to this film is this little girl played by Aditi Subedi. What talent. She's not acting. She's just being there. She is literally an impression of those who have read Jonathan Livingston Seagull, that little blue lark bird flying in the air. That's exactly the spirit that this girl puts into her entire film. For somebody of her age and experience, there is not a moment in the film where she may be in doubt or there may be some hesitation or a wrong move in what she does in the film. Part of the credit must definitely go to Pooraj Kapoor who edits the movie and Hussain Mir and Sabdar Mir for having written a near perfect script if that is ever possible. The only maybe line that we think looks a little overimposed is the reference to the Ganga Jamuna Tehzeeb at the end. But that perhaps is the statutory explanation for the entire story and the producer's investment and justifiable in the times we live in. Again, the film is a true reflection of what comes out of Jonathan Livingston Siegel, and I quote, don't believe what your eyes are telling you. All they show is limitation. Look with your understanding. Find out what you already know, and you'll see the way to fly. Was it not in the 50s that we showed how universal Indian cinema, Indian art is? Shakil Badayuni, Naushad, Muhammad Rafi. Man Tadpat Hari Darshan Kwaj. Me, Rasa, is a reiteration of that 
sublime space of the human spirit where nothing stops art, the universality of art. And in the midst of all this, the brilliant performance of Danish Hussein as Salim, a national award winning performance, a performance right up there, maybe equivalent to a Sanjeev Kumar in Koshish, maybe equivalent to Nasiruddin Shah in Sparsh, or even a Balrat Sahani in Kathputli. That is the kind of performance that you get from Danish Hussein. Simple story, extremely well captured, no cliches, poignantly told, flows effortlessly, brilliant performances, just an hour and 40 minutes, a rare experience. I plead with people who watch good cinema, spend time, money, energy, whatever is required, and invest on this film, lest history curses you that you were partly responsible to not encourage such brilliance in the art form of our times. As the little young girl stands up and says, I am dancing, I hope we, the collective, stand up identify this brilliance and say, we too are willing to dance. Me, Raksim. Thank you.